Dr. Silas Mulauzi, Salga Sustainable Energy Specialist, joins us on Salga TV to discuss the TID rollover plan, which is the updating all prepaid electricity meter software. Dr. Mulauzi, thank you for joining us here. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Great. Dr. Mulauzi, what is the TID rollover? TID rollover is token identifier. It is essentially a software called Standard Specification Transfer. What it does is that uh, it allows ESCOM and municipalities to measure and charge electricity on a prepaid meters. When will the TID rollover process occur? Then um, TID has got a deadline um, of 24 November 2024. What essentially means is that all prepaid meters must be upgraded by November 20, 2024. If that doesn't happen, the prepaid meters will stop dispensing electricity. And what will happen after the TID rollover process? What will happen after the TID rollover is that uh, all the meters that would have been converted to key revision number two will continue to work, to function, to dispense electricity until 2025, where another upgrade will be needed because TID has got a lifespan of 31 years. Oh, it was invented in 1993, then 31 years is ending on the 24th of November, 2024. Mm -hmm. And how many meters have been reset to date and how many more are still outstanding? Um, local government or municipalities across the country, we have got just over 4 million prepaid meters that uses this software called TID, token identifier. At this point in time, we have um, converted 92.4% of prepaid meters. That is 3.6 million. Mm -hmm. So what is left is just slightly over 300,000. Uh, mm -hmm. prepaid meters that are yet to be converted in the next two weeks. Nevertheless, there has been so many meters that are non-vending, which won't be affected by TID rollover. Mm -hmm. But we are left with just over 300,000 that we expect municipalities to convert all those meters. Mm -hmm. On that 300,000 meters still uh, needing to be updated, what will happen if a meter is not updated? What will happen if the meter is not updated out of the 300,000 is that uh, on the 24th of November 2024, at 18.15 p.m., that is in the evening, the meter will continue to function until the existing credits are depleted. Then the meter will stop functioning. The consumer will normally go to the um, retail or to municipalities to purchase electricity, but the meter will reject the new credit tokens mm -hmm. until it is update, updated. Mm -hmm. And what are municipalities doing to update the process of resetting meters? Municipalities have been doing a lot of work to ensure that every customer meters is converted to key revision number two. They've been doing the following. They've been raising awareness that is having INBISO community members, both political as well as administration leadership. What councillors have been on the ground every day informing and educating community members about updating the prepaid meters. But uh, after all, municipalities are on the ground updating the meters, going door to door, um, requesting for a meter and update the meters. Mm -hmm. And they are also releasing the key revision number for customers so that when they purchase electricity, they will get the key change token and update their meters themselves. And what is Salga doing to support municipalities in the TID rollover plan? Salga is working closely with other stakeholders such as STS Association, Department of Cooperative Governance and many other stakeholders. Um, to raise awareness, um, to assist and support municipalities in raising awareness and education about this particular project. Salga has been offering technical um, support and training to municipal staff members um, that are uh, basically resetting the meters um, in the community members. And Salga has been vocal from day one, warning all the municipalities as back as seven years ago about this particular project. But uh, all in all, Salga has provided adequate support to municipalities across the country. Mm -hmm. No wonder we're at 92.6% to date, and we still believe that we're going to complete this project in time. Mm -hmm. And what are the benefits of the TID rollover process for municipalities as well as consumers of electricity? Let me start with consumers. There are a lot of benefit for consumers um, in a sense that uh, obviously the meter once converted, it will continue to dispense electricity um, after November 24, 2024, meaning that there won't be service interruption or electricity supply interruption. That is the benefit for consumers. But let's talk about um, municipalities. There are plenty of benefit. One is the fact that municipalities are able to update their um, database, uh, prepaid meters database. Municipalities are able to 
identify non-vending meters. We have got, um, at this point in time, we're collecting the data, we're at around 1 million non-vending meters. Non-vending meters are meters that have been bypassed, which means these are meters that are not buying electricity. So the benefit is that municipalities are replacing all this non-vending with new smart meters that has got the ability to allow municipalities to monitor the consumption, to also identify if the consumer is bypassing the meter, and to switch off a meter remotely. So the benefit for municipalities is revenue enhancement. On that note, Doctor, will the TID rollover plan enhance revenues for municipalities as well as prevent the theft of electricity? The TID rollover um, enabled, um, is a wake-up call for municipalities. It has enabled municipalities to identify all this non-vending and fortunate municipalities are replacing the non-vending with the smart meters. So smart meters, we have seen a point in case, uh, Chief Albert Lutuli, municipality in Pumalanga, they have changed all the meters, existing meters, because there was high rate of non-vending. That is high rate of meters that have been bypassed. So the statistics as we speak today, August 2023, they were collecting or the sales for electricity was just over a million. And then they then embarked on a process of um, um, replacing the non-vending meters with smart meters. A year later, 12 months later, in August 2024, the electricity sales has shot up to 7 million um, in the same month. So it shows that, yes, there is a big advantage for revenue uh, collection as far as uh, the prepaid meters is concerned. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mulauti, thank you once more for being here with us. Thank you very much. We believe that all prepaid meters will be converted by 24 November 2024. Thank you.